so I slept in today and I know you're probably like okay Christina what what's the big deal you slept in no biggie but for me what makes that a big deal is because I was already on like some bull <laughs> I was already on some bull for 2021 where I was just already convinced that, okay, I've already jacked this up. You know, that's over. It's canceled. You didn't hit the ground running as much as you wanted to. So what's the point? And just a bunch of nonsense. And so this morning, because I was tired and because I did not eat enough yesterday, because, you know, we started the Daniel Fast yesterday and I... I'm still, you know, still getting acclimated to that. And so I was tired and cranky and I had to comb down my daughter's locks because she decided she didn't want them anymore. And then I still had to cook dinner. And it, it was just a lot. It was just a lot. Um, and so I took a break. I took a break. I, I slept in this morning. I did not immediately hop up to get out of bed and go work out and all of that stuff, even though all of that stuff is important and I am going to be getting back to it I decided that I was just not going to I'm 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 not about to rush I'm not about to rush these things are going to happen the way that they happen I work for myself I can set my own schedule I can set my own deadlines all that stuff I canceled a dental appointment that was supposed to be this week because I ain't got it. I canceled my therapy appointment that was supposed to be this week because I ain't got it. I will talk to sis next week and she understood it. <laughs> you know, I am just going to breathe. I'm, I'm just going to breathe. Um, I got a Target package today. <laughs> I got a Target package today. That's why this stuff is, you know, it's on my desk because it had just arrived right before I was about to film. But um, this was a, um, a black woman, Spoonful of Faith, who uh, Target is doing like their Black History HBCU initiative or something like that. But I just like supporting black women. Um, and so I ordered the cup. Can you got, I need to pull it back here in order for it to focus. But I got the cup. I got this beautiful calendar again I gotta bring it back here in line with my face so that'll so that it'll focus but beautiful calendar and I actually had um I don't want to say ulterior motives with the calendar but this is something that I want to do I want to illustrate a uh, CCJ universe Bemis Jones whatever Christina C Jones calendar um that is definitely something that I want to do um I did not put it on my list of goals because I was like you're doing too much but seeing it in front of me now I'm like Naya you need to do that um but this one actually comes with like some stickers and stuff for you to um mark off notable dates and then each one um you know has your artwork and then your actual calendar days and stuff down here um and there's a sticker on the front that encourages you to you know once the year is over you can actually frame the artwork you know as an art print and I just think that that's really really cool so that might happen <laughs> that might happen this year but I'm probably going to put this this is probably going to go on my refrigerator um for everybody to see and um I just like the fact that it's brown faces and all of that and then I have this journal um my therapist has been on my neck about journaling <laughs> forever and I'll start and then I'll stop and I'll start and then I'll stop but I really do see the value in it and I'm looking at this it's got like these gold accents sis has a little nose hoop very into this so spoonful of faith um I'll see if I can find like her uh her what it see this is why i need to slow down because i don't what what word am i looking for y'all her social media info her social media her social media handles and um website and stuff to link to her but again all of this is from target because i know that when we do get to get stuff in these major retailers the numbers 
through the major retailers matter too. I know a lot of times, um, and I and I mean I still I still do this too. Like I like this stuff, and so I might go see what else she got like directly through her. But it like yes, go directly to the source when when smaller creators get collaborations like this. But seeing the numbers through the major retailers that opens up more opportunities too. And so you know don't. Don't think that you're necessarily doing the creator more of a favor by going straight to them because the company is looking at these numbers as well. So, you know, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong about that because I ain't I, I'm, I'm nobody's expert on product <laughs> on, on, on getting a product in a store or anything like that. That's just my understanding that the retailers are absolutely looking at those type of numbers and it does affect what other um it affects what other opportunities become available for other um, for other creators. So just keep that in mind. Um, what else? I'm trying to think if there is any other like little side things that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I'm actually burning. Um, today's candle is neighborhood hottie. I can't get this too close to my face, honey. This is hot. Um, I was trying to get it to come into focus. But you see my little wood wick burning? You cannot see that. But that's okay. Trust me, it's there. <laughs> but um, let me get to the point. So I finally, finally decided what my first project of 2021 is going to be. I'm excited about it. Um, I have started writing it. I have names for the entire series. Yes, I'm going to be opening the year with a series. Um, I have names for the whole series. I have covers for the whole series. I'm still waffling back and forth on what the series name is going to be because we're going, it's siblings again. And so I'm waffling a little bit on that. Right now it's called the Vegas Night Series and I'm going to show you guys the covers. Um, exclusive for you guys. I'm going to have an official cover reveal with Girl Have You Read later on, you know, for the world at large, which you guys get to see these first um and I really just I love the cover so much <laughs> I love the cover so much and it is so funny to me well let me let me let me scoot back a bit this is not how I was supposed to be opening the year and it is a major part of all the angst that I kind of had around the beginning of the year because when I showed you guys like my planner where I had written down like my content calendar and everything else that I was going to do it was with the first book of the sugar or the third book of the sugar valley series in mind that is what i was supposed to be opening the year with but i completely changed the storyline of that project and it just it has not been marinating in my head long enough for me to be able to like really dive into it like I needed to. And I struggled with that a bit because I f it felt like a failure. It felt like a failure. It felt like I was not doing what I should have been doing. I felt like I was, you know, like, oh, like, oh man, Christina, you are already freaking phone phoning it in, like really. But I let go of that. I, I, I had to and move forward. And what we're going to be doing now is a three book series, Siblings, set in Vegas. It is going to be erotica. And the first, <laughs> the first couple in the series is a married couple. And that is hilarious to me because I have talked so much noise about I don't like writing married couples. I don't want to do it. You know, it's got to be something really, really wrong. You know, I don't want to write married couples. And now here I am writing a married couple. But in my defense, they are being stupid and something is very, very wrong. <laughs> so there's that. And they're very, um, I don't want to say that they're not your normal couple, but they are very, um, they're very intense. They're very intense, very dramatic. I don't want to say too much because this is not supposed, because I want to save some stuff for my five things or whatever video that I'm going to do about this project later. But I'm really excited about it. Um, two people have seen, you know, have, have read my first chapter so far. And the word that they both used um, was intense. Um, I think she may not have used intense. I used intense and she... She used another description that I can't say because it would be it would be 
kind of a spoiler if I said um, what what her description was. But one of them definitely said intense um, and sexy. And yeah, I'm just excited. So there we go. That is how we are starting out 2021. And I am really like I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. Um, we're gonna do. We're, I'm 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 gonna be on top of it. I'm well. Let me look. Let me not. Don't give me the line. <laughs> let me, I'm I'm not gonna say that it's a lie, but I am going to do my best not to overextend myself while trying to reach this. Um, very nebulous idea of what a successful rollout looks like to me. But I want to, you know, I have this goal in mind. I have this certain order in mind that I would like to stick with. And so I'm going to do my best to get to it. And y'all just, y'all just pray for me. <laughs> y'all just pray for me. That's all. Bye. So, um... <laughs> I finished recording, you know, what I was recording today. And then I was very proud of myself for having gotten it done. And then I went to Twitter, which is what I always do after I finish, <laughs> after I finish doing something that's always like, all right, let me reward myself by ending up upset. Um, and usually it's just like some little like political stuff or somebody being stupid or something like that. But um, what it ended up being today was finding out that Eric Jerome Dickey has passed away. And um, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Um, obviously, you know, his friends and family are, you know, are the ones who 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 need those you know that good energy and those thoughts and prayers from having lost their loved one but Ed Jerome Dickey was like really really formative for me like in the way that a lot of romance authors will point to um you know like Brenda Jackson Beverly Jenkins you know those women as kind of who I like their foundational people in their mind for their writing. Um, Ezra Dickey has always been that for me. Um, I, you may or may not have heard me refer to him as the blueprint before. Um, if you think back to like my my early early backlist, the Friends and Lovers series was kind of that was named that as a nod to him, not because I felt like those books were on his caliber or anything like that, but because he was the author where I first encountered characters who were flawed but still lovable and um, just very real, just very, very real. And that is something that was just like really game changing for me and something that I've always tried to um, something that I've just always tried to do in my work. And um, I don't know, like, I just, I think about the contributions, you know, and the legacy and just the, the, the breadth and depth of his work. And I, not that long ago, maybe a few years back, I reread Friends and Lovers and they were, they were, you could, you could, you could feel, you know, that it was written before. You could feel, you know, that, you know, some of the references and all of that were dated, but it still just felt like the, the storytelling in and of itself, you know, I'm not the one or the two. <laughs> like, I just think about that and I think about, you know the way that he was able to bring us into these explorations of messy relationships and grief and um, 
messy friendships and just the realness that he was able to bring and his books, his work, like they, though his, his work holds up and I don't even know, <laughs> like, I don't even know what to say, but, um, yeah, definitely, you know, condolences and prayers to, you know, his friends and family and those that were close to him. Um, but it like that really, like that really like hit me like a left hook, <laughs> like who, <laughs> like, excuse me, like, I don't know, but, um, I am bringing the mood down, aren't I? I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let this go.